Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cupquake. We're gonna continue Life is Strange. We just left Kate's room and we got a message from Chloe. What? Food! Two whales! See you there! Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast! No emoji. Yay! Actually, breakfast Even sounds with delicious. All this crazy shit going on. It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Um, so like no time has passed. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much yesterday. I couldn't get to posting a video. I was hanging nice out with some friends. Shots. Needs dusting. Um, but yeah, didn't think it was a big deal to miss a video. Uh, so wait, where am I going? Am I going to breakfast? I just woke up in real life. And I am hungry. <laughs> breakfast sounds delicious. I kind of want to go out and get some breakfast. Um, all right, so we're leaving the girls' dormitory. Poor Kate, though. That is terrible. That happens in real life, and it's such a sad thing. So everyone, make sure to be careful. Keep an eye on your drinks. Crazy. Oh, let's go see how our janitor's doing. Oh, is he talking to his birds? Samuel! How you hey, doing, Samuel. Samuel? You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. <laughs> I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. <laughs> animals? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. Oh. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you Samuel. see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. I like to feed the oh, squirrels. That's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. <laughs> Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. A squirrel. I love squirrels. Let's talk about snow. I like talking so to Samuel because he's very interested. What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. All right, we'll talk later, Samuel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Oh, Samuel. Let's look at the birds. I want to look at them. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Aww. Samuel's just a... He's just one with nature. He's just a happy little man. Who loves his birds and squirrels. I guess let's look at the food waste I don't use. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? I guess... Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for oh. your 15 minutes of fame. Squirrel. Feed the squirrel. Look at him! Oh, he's so cute! I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. No! Oh! Yay! He took the food! I fed the- look at the birds! That's cool. It's, it, I've never seen that before in real life. Does that really happen? Can I take a picture of the squirrel? Oh, yeah! Get in a yes. photo! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Eating a donut? Yay! Achievement! Full exposure! All right, so let's continue. I'm gonna put a little pep in my step. Let's do a little girly run. See how, uh, Taylor. What up, girlfriend? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Um... Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean, Courtney. And she's bossy, too. Look, you don't know her. 
I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean bossy best friends too. Better than having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. All right. Oh. I can I can rewind. Navi. Can I speak to you Taylor, still? Conversation over. Oh, she don't want to talk no more. She don't want to talk no more. Hey, Navi, say hello. Say good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Okay. So, we're not going to talk to her. That's going to have tail incoming. <laughs> That's going to have uh, consequences, I guess. I heard the uh, little butterfly or the little noise. Oh, private number. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Gosh, his dad's even a douche. D douche. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord. Nathan's family <gasps> hey! owns my dorm? Warren! What up, dude? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, Still has a black eye. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. What? It was intense. That was intense. Thank you. I should say thank By you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me <laughs> with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Um, Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Mm, I busted him. I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. No, he's not. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes Ooh. marathon. Let's go ape. <laughs> sure, I'll go with you because yes, I owe you. that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's going to have consequences. Well, I'm going to go with him because I owe him. He saved me. And he stuck up for me. So I'm just going to go with him. And we're saving right here. That looks like a pretty intense conversation over there. Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Hmm. It's always so pretty over here. Like, dreamy. There's always, like, pollen flying around. Oh, hello. Where are we going? Oh, this is just the dorms. I thought that I, like, walked out of class.
Why does the diner drop me off here? I mean, the school bus drop me off here. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Let's go check out these flyers and uh, talk to this fisherman. Let's see. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad Mad that nobody will drought. read them. Okay, let's read it. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay, save our bay, end the man-made drought in the bay. Let's talk to... Let's talk to the fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. How has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <coughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good. You own a boat? You did good? You did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh, the Prescotts. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. Ooh. If that tells you much. Do you know them? They own my school. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to <laughs> okay. learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. All right, we got a journal from Chloe. Running late, grab a booth at the diner, mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Oh, so this is, oh, that was like, it's about to be nine in the morning. Let's grab a booth. Let's see if I can do a little bit of exploring, though. Let's go check out the news play, paper. News paper. Independent. So, well, that's a good start to the story. Yeah. Let's see. Let's talk to man. Excuse me, sir. Can you believe this town? <laughs> the world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. Yes. Um, the snow was odd. How long have you lived here? The snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's His the northwest. Well, though. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is a mystery. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Can I speak to him still? Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. <laughs> Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. He's one of those. Oh, look, there's a homeless person back here. Let's just explore. I, I like to explore. This game is about exploring. Speak to her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. She's been places. Joyce Press, Arcadia Bay, Prescott family. Prescott family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. Oh, gosh. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Um, well, maybe I shouldn't have ratted on him. Let's see... Uh, Joyce Price. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Oh. David, um, let's learn a little bit about David Madsen. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but... He better treat her right. Okay, Arcadia Bay. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? 
a thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. A thousand years, so she's a little crazy. Uh, what changes? What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work, out of home. Prescott. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. All right. Goodbye. Can I take a picture? I want to take a, can I take a picture of you? Oh, look, she has some cereal and some hot dog weenies mm -hmm. and a beer at nine in the morning. Um, let's do a little exploring back here. See what we can find. Um, oh, there's a dog. There's a dog. Why would they, oh, there, is that guy alive? Let's go on the other side. We're going to explore before going inside. This is the first time that we've ever um, been off of the campus. I don't want to go that way. Okay, I don't want to go that way. So I kind of want to just explore a little bit. See, um, I did miss some stuff previously. Let's see if I could cross the street. Oh, can't cross the street. Let's go around back and... Oh, wait, who's this man? Who are these people? Um, let's go find that dog. I saw a dog. Wouldn't be there for, I mean, he's, wouldn't be there for nothing. Let's look at this RV. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Dirty RV from the other day? Uh, stop that. Stop. Oh. No barky. Drunk already. Dog, but I wanted to take a picture. There's from something him. creepy about that guy and his dog. His dog is, I wanted to interact with the dog, dang it. I could go from the other side. Nope. Every time I get closer on this side, he gets up and wants to bark at me. So maybe I can go back around and jump the fence or something. All right. So can we talk to this? Oh, woman. I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Looking. She Glad looks busy and stressed. Else. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't this? dream of it. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. Oh man. All right. <laughs> Poor guy thinks he's a winner. All right. I really want to head around because there was a way that I could have interacted with the dog, and I want to see if there's something that I can do with the dog. Um. I don't think I could grab anything to jump the fence. Right. Oh, there we go. Photo. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha, little puppy. Achievement. Worth it. Woo! Image stabilizer. I like to get achievements. <laughs> All right. So let's go inside the diner. Get a table. And get some grub. This is going to make me really, really hungry. I'm going to want to eat some breakfast. I think I'm probably going to have to go make some breakfast Man, for myself. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. All right. Ooh, the TV. Let's look at the TV. Unexpected snowfall. K Bay. Coming up at noon. K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that, does... that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun doesn't video sound reactions like... to the odd snow He's... Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature... It doesn't sound like his all. voice. It sounds so like a surfer dude's voice. Sorry. Stay 7 News for the real story. <laughs> That was odd. Okay, let's look at the gumball machine. Oh man, mm. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Ew. Why does that so not sound fun? Moby Deck Tours. Um, let's look at the poster. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah, Kate Marsh, love a long time. Poor Kate, like, these people tag everywhere. 
Graffiti. Let's look at that. Gross. Rachel A. owes me a BJ. So does your mom. Oh, look. There's the dough. That's the one that um, is on my shirt. Flesh before. Let's see. Let's look at this graffiti. That graffiti has been here forever. Flesh before pissing on the floor. And this graffiti. What does it say? Oh, I'm taking a photo of it. Fire walk with me? Fire walk with me. Okay. All right. Arcadia Gay sucks dead. Thank you, redneck poet. All right. So. I wanna, weird lady. <laughs> Her name is weird lady. Let's look at weird lady. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. It doesn't mean she's weird because she's eating alone. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh, oh she's yeah, Canadian. It's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? She's not a weird lady. She's just happy with life. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Jeez. Jeez, dude. Hey, what dude. do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Jeez, everyone is pissy today, except for a weird lady. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Yeah, those shirts are hideous. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue talking to people. Cop. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. I'm not lost. Hungry. Just. Hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Oh, mac and cheese. Joyce, Chloe, David. Talk about Joyce. How well It'll be do weird you know to just Joyce? talk about David. I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. What? Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Who told you that's not good? Who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. Oh. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, You're not just David kidding. Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend oh. of yours? I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. David, let's talk about David. I guess Prescott. you're friends with David Madsen. Or uh, Mad I wouldn't Madsen. use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He has a reputation. Just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. That's true. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I oh. usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Navi, well, stop policy. it. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. All right. So stay away from the guy at the RV. I'm going to move something really quick because Navi has nowhere to lay. Normally she lays on my desk, but she's laying on my keyboard right now. So, okay, Navi, move, move, move. There you go. Rest your little head. All right, kitty problems. Um, let's talk to this trucker. I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. <laughs> Over now. That's a good one. Uh, hello. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Okay. Everything is in eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? 
bossy and smart ass like you. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Mm. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Jeez. Seriously, everyone is just, ooh, yum, yum. Ooh, yum, yum. I want to look. Drool. I'm want seriously getting everything. hungry. Ah, okay. Joyce. Jo Joyce, how do I talk to you? Oh, let's just get a booth. So we haven't talked to Joyce yet. Um, but we're getting our booth. Oh, I didn't get to talk to those guys over there. Who are those guys? Maybe I'll talk to them later. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales <laughs> after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Aw. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Her stepfather hit her. I am sorry she that was, was your there. introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Sure. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Oh, poor anyway, Chloe. I hope we see more of you. I'm gonna see Chloe her. needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe has changed. She understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she sucks. hit all the phases. <laughs> Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. Hey, blue hair. Now she's got to rebel against Nothing her Nothing wrong with colored hair. I see why. I mean, it's magical. Didn't you rebel against your best friend by letting her twist in the wind with that joint? David and Chloe, wish I took blame. Mm. Wish I took blame. Wish I took blame for the pot. None of this might have happened. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it. No excuse to hit her. He cares about Kate Marsh. Let's ask that. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Um, oh, bacon, uh, bacon omelet or Belgian waffle? Bacon omelet! I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Mm. Now finish your coffee. She gave me coffee. Ah, oh, I sneeze. <laughs> One bacon omelet for the young lady, Sam. All right. Bacon so I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Well, let's go ahead and look at this Nerd tagging. Warren must have been here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at this. The only thing that's changed on the menu and I'll drink my coffee. 
Let's drink the coffee. Oh my gosh, I need coffee in my life right now. I need some beer and bacon before I die. This is beer like and bacon. Dimensional deja that is just so crazy to me. Going back in time. It looks like you had plenty. Stick Drinking bacon. beer in the morning is just does not sound good at all. Coffee sounds way better. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I haven't gotten a save yet, but I'm going to continuously drink my coffee. What, what kind of dive is this? Um, this is like fourth dimension. I already did this. I can so. hear your stomach rumbling from here. Oh, there we go. My food. Mm. Here, you'll love this. That was fast. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. He still sees a baby. Speak of the devil. Oh, oh Chloe, you're such again. a badass. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm trading Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody <laughs> needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire. Chloe's so angry. Now. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. This makes me scared to be a parent. <laughs> you only get one you bacon. You still the same. Drip. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. All right, so Let's I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, I know it hasn't saved, so I will. I'm gonna keep the game open, and I'm gonna go eat breakfast, and then probably come back and play again. <laughs> I am starving. I'm hungry. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry again that I missed a video yesterday, but um, was doing a collab, just hanging out with some friends. Um, but yeah, there will be another video today. And um, I will continue this. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, it's a little slow. We're learning the stories unraveling, and I'm taking my time with this one. I did take my time with the previous episode, but I missed some stuff, so I really want to make sure that I do everything so we can get the full, uh, the full game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing remainder of your Sunday. It's already Sunday. What happened? The weekend is gonna end already. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My name's Cupwick. I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>